Happy Friday, DP. I'm Mr. Lynch, and I'm a little bit nervous. And I'm Mrs. Stone. DP News starts now. Lunch meeting today for anyone interested in being a writing tutor or peer tutor or a student mentor next year in regular classes. Drop-in centers during late start and after school. Come to H24 today at lunch for a general information meeting. Interested in a job? DPHS Community Programs has high paying jobs for the summer. Swimming instructors and lifeguard positions with wages starting at $10 an hour Monday through Thursday. All certifications are through the Red Cross and can transfer anywhere. For more information, visit dpnews.org. The last Beautify DP Day is tomorrow and it's not too late to sign up. You can earn a few hours of community service and get your NHS hours tomorrow from 9 to 12. Sign up outside Miss Stone's office uh, and bring a water bottle because it's going to be hot. And appropriate clothing for tomorrow because it is going to be really hot. <laughs> it's not going to be that hot. Okay, today from 3 to 7.30 is the Brandon School Carnival. A great opportunity to have some fun and earn some hours. Stay the whole time and you get a free dinner. So be sure to head on over there and you can visit dpnews.org for more information. Sign-ups are outside of Mrs. Choi's room in A1. The Greek will be rocking today at lunch with the sounds of some of the newest music you're likely to hear this year. The DP Vocal Music Ensembles will be performing sections from the hottest vocal group in the country right now, Pentatonics, including songs by Daft Punk, Macklemore, and Ryan Lewis. Come by and check out t t them today at The Greek. It's going to be a great show. Clubs today are Anime and Manga Club in H5, Chess Club in H15, FSEA Club in S2, Good Humor Club in H31, and Trading Card Club in H13. That's our news for today. I'm Mr. Lynch. And I'm Mrs. Stone. Happy Friday. Now over to Senor Cruz with your weather. Aquí el Senor Cruz con el clima. Esta semana ha estado bastante caliente, si no te has dado cuenta, con las temperaturas comenzando en las bajas de los 80s y llegando hasta 104. Hoy vamos a ver más o menos 80 grados con las bajas de 59 grados. El sábado y domingo las altas y las medias estarán en los 80s con las bajas en los 50. Uh, la próxima semana deberá de estar más fresco con las altas y las bajas alrededor de los 70s. Recuerda de mantenerte fresco y toma bastante agua, okay? Thanks guys. Señor Cruz here with the weather. This week has been hot with temperatures starting in the low 80s and peaking up to 104. Today we'll see highs in the upper 80s with a low of 59 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, highs are in the mid 80s with lows in the 50s. Next week should be cooling down a bit with highs in the low to mid 70s. Remember to stay cool and keep drinking lots of water. Now over to Ms. Locke for sports, but before I do that, quick shout out to all my classes. A todas mis clases de español siguen estudiando, echenle ganas. Y en especial un saludazo a mis alumnos de AVID. AVID, you got this. Howdy Chargers, I'm Miss Locke here to bring you your sports news today. Let's jump right into it. Our softball team creamed the Cougars for outright league title yesterday. Monica Salas' RBI single in the seventh inning was the winning run in our 6-5 victory over Ventura and clinched the Channel League Championship. Lonnie Evans' RBI triple scored Madison Bowie in the fifth inning and Addie Willett recorded a hit and came around the base, base path to score in the sixth. Lonnie scored on Salas' RBI in the seventh after doubling. Evans struck out nine and earned her 14th win of the season. On Saturday, the two girls find out who they play in the first round of CIF. Tomorrow, tomorrow Stan Scarvalis, Addie Zarenner, 
Natalie McClure, and John Dickinson lead the team to Moore Park for the CIF prelims. Alex Valente will be heading into CIF finals for boys swim, qualifying in the number one spot in the 100 butterfly, and also qualifying for the 100 backstroke finals in Saturday in Riverside. Walker Bell qualified for the 500 free and reached the consolation final for individual medley. On the girls' side, Shannon Cleary qualified for the 50 and 100 free, along with teammates in the 400 free relay. Maylin Otternetto reached the consolation final on 100 breaststroke. Last night, our boys' baseball team had their last home game against Ventura. Our team battled back from a tough 4-1 to deficit to win 5-4 to and share the league title with Buena. In the bottom of the sixth, we tied score at four and singles by Daniel Barado, Nick Nogo, Quinn Peacock, and a pitch hit single by Gio Macias. Senior Joel Corona, Corona hit a three and zero pitch into left field, which was mishandled by the left fielder. As Luke Coffey rounded third base, the throw from the outfielder dragged the catcher up the line and there was a collision at the plate. The ball was knocked free, allowing Coffey to score the winning rush, a <laughs> winning run. Josh Tedeschi relieved starter Michael Bolter after three innings and pitched four shutout innings. Freshman Darby Naughton pitched a third of an inning to pick up the victory. Great job, guys. Today, our boys' 17-3 tennis team heads to Corona Del Mar for their second round CIF playoff match. Well, that's all I have for your sports today. I'm Ms. Locke. Have a good weekend, DP. for you, you can get two for a dollar at the Econ Fair. Yes! Awesome! Woo! Here's a dollar. And here are two paratroopers. 